guys, we are here in Mokpo, finally, one of my favorite cities. It is the big port city in the southern Jeolla province. Well, I heard that it has been a hotspot for organized crime in Korea in like the 80s or 90s. And it's kind of the inspiration for the film Bomjewai Chonjing. Like I think it's the nameless gangster in English. So yeah, it has been cleaned out since, but yeah, back in the day, that's where the real cheese were at. So yeah, let's see if we're gonna get stabbed today. Woo! We never know. <laughs> All right, guys, so here we are in one of Mokpo's older streets. And just like in my video about Cholado in the south, in the countryside, Mokpo itself is also in the southern Cholado area. And it is one of those areas that's sort of losing population, although Mokpo is one of the bigger cities. But overall, they're also trying to revitalize old areas like this and repurpose them as tourist attractions or cultural areas. So that the real Korea can remain. And Mopo is probably one of those cities that's a bit more successful at doing it. Uh, the name of the movie, 1987. <laughs> so I asked Leah about Mopo, she knew nothing about it, but what do you know about food? Okay, so this is Arby Tak, and it's put in this stone pot, and it's all the banchan, so this is like fried fish with eggs, this is golden, this is like a pomper, well you can see kimchi, a lot of art of food that I can't wait to try, but I have to do this interview first. Sorry, my sister talks a little too much, but basically it's delicious. You can't go wrong with kalbitang. And to top it off, the side dishes here are super delicious. As you can see, we pretty much cleared it out almost. Alright guys, so I'm here at the Mokpo Marine Cable Car. It is actually the longest cable car here in Korea. 3.2 kilometers, 2 miles long. It takes literally 40 minutes round trip. I wish I had a wider lens to show you just how amazing it is. The cabin is ridiculously big. And this is one of the ways that smaller cities can help revitalize their cities by creating these amazing tourist attractions. And cable cars and skywalks, these are one of the best ways because you could see an overall sort of panoramic view of the city, which gives tourists a reason to go up and view all the intricate areas of the city. And I could just totally see that there's some really old areas that are keeping it real. So that's why I'd probably want to explore this area more. And I think a lot of other tourists might think that way as well. So Marie, what do you think? Do you think they did their job of attracting tourists or it's gimmicky? No, nah, it's definitely not gimmicky. It's pretty cool. You have like wooden finishes and you have the views on either side. It's pretty panoramic, yeah. especially if you go on that end, which is pretty packed right now. But yeah. no, these steps is a nice vibe. I haven't seen anything like this in Korea. So. Did you notice that it's shaped like a Korean warship? Yes, the sides of it, it looks like a kind of boat, dragon yeah. boat kind of style. And there's the walk down below too. It's probably gonna take forever though. Yeah, that sea deck right there. That's the sea deck? Yeah, that's what they call it. Ah, it's a deck over the sea. That's really cool. Yeah, it's an easy walk. And then the cable cars there. Highly recommend it guys. It's less than $20 if you were to pay full price for it, round trip. And you actually get another stop up there on top of that mountain. It's called Yudasan. We don't have time today, but I've been up there and I will say that is an amazing view, especially at night, because the main Mokpo city is over in that side and you'll see the old city there. All right, guys, so we're in Mokpo. It's a port city, so they wouldn't be complete without some seafood. Ain't that right, sister? Yes, of course. Let's eat. <laughs> Wow guys, the head of the Mokpo Tourism Organization recommended this place. I highly recommend it. Everything is so fresh. Thick. Mm. And they also made special menu for people who don't eat fish. 
And Callie's gonna be surprised with the vegan menu. I mean, well. Oh, it looks almost like Panda Express. Right? It's like right. Sour yeah. Right Cheers! <laughs> Saud! All right, guys, so this pretty much wraps up the day. It was an amazing night. Mokpo even went out and got us a customized little adventure Korea on the fountain as well. There's just so much that Mokpo has to offer. It's great to see that they're trying to revitalize the city and they're doing a good job of it, obviously, because they are a larger city. You can see that they have big city centers here and people can gather around. They even have Pikachu trying to get the next mayor elected or something. Overall, Mokpo is a fantastic city, guys. It is basically the tourist center of Chola Namdo, the southern Chola province. I highly recommend you come here. There's so much left to do, however. And this is just the beginning because tomorrow we're gonna take a ferry to Purple Island. This is pretty much the highlight that I've been waiting for. So see you guys tomorrow. Victoria from Alabama, are you ready to call it a night? No, are you? <laughs> what am I supposed to say? I mean, I mean, it's we're, it's early. It's early. It's not a night. It's an evening. Yeah, but how do you like your first day in Mokpo? Oh, uh, I like it a lot. Wait, I'm not good at this. <laughs> okay. Um, from small town like Alabama, how do you like another small town like Mokpo? This is not a small town. Oh, this yeah? is a city. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you disagree? Oh, you're from California, so. Yeah, SoCal guy. Okay, have you ever been to Alabama? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I don't. <laughs> so, yeah, this okay. is a big city. <laughs> all right, okay, all right. Big it's city. great, though. It's great. I love it. It's okay. really fun. Yeah. Excited for tomorrow? Yes, yes. Right. Very, very excited. Yay. I should look at you or the camera. Oh my god, I'm here. Like the camera. Bye, cool. bye.